everyone, it is great to see you here once again on Dee's Delights. Tonight we are going to make patty melt sandwiches with caramelized onions. Caramelized onions are fantastic. Just ignore my mixer here. I was making uh, dinner rolls and I was too lazy to get it off here before I started recording for the patty melts. I've been cooking in the kitchen quite a bit today, uh, making some homemade apple butter too. So looking forward to that, but it takes so long for that to cook down. So what you're going to need for the patty melts is two tablespoons of unsalted butter, one tablespoon of olive oil, and three large yellow onions thinly sliced, one teaspoon salt, one half teaspoon ground pepper, and Worcestershire sauce, optional but recommended. That is just to make the caramelized onions. So let's get started. I am going to cut my onions into thin slices. One of my viewers out there encouraged me to get a wood cutting board and I thank her for that. I always welcome new ideas, opinions, things that can make things helpful in the kitchen. So thank you and that was Patty. Thank you Patty. Heat butter and oil in a Dutch oven or large skillet over medium heat. So let's heat the butter, which was two tablespoons and one tablespoon of olive oil. Okay, we're going to put the onions in there now. Whoops, you know what? I didn't finish cutting up the onions. Once again, I'm prepared. We're going to cook these on medium heat for about 45 minutes. Okay, I'm going to turn this to about 325. That should be about medium heat. We don't want to burn it. Get them all broken apart there. And they look like they probably will cook down, but my eyes are watering and burning. Okay, I'll be back in 45 minutes. Well, about another 10 minutes, we'll be done caramelizing the onions. As you can see, they got nice and dark. We'll have a bowl ready to set those aside. It says, meanwhile, shape ground chuck into four oval patties, kind of like the shape of a piece of bread. So we're just gonna kind of cut this into four even sections. Each one of those would be a quarter pound hamburger, quarter pound patty melt. So this would just make it easy. Just cut it right out of the pack. That way it's pretty much the shape of a piece of bread. Let's season with salt, pepper, and if you want to use a little garlic salt or whatever you can. Let's go ahead and put a few little shakes of uh, Worcestershire sauce. Now just get all the goodies off the bottom of the skillet. We don't want to miss any of those goodies. And it'll give it a little extra flavor too. in a skillet over medium high heat flipping once three to four minutes per side okay we'll go ahead and start buttering our bread um, if you're making four patty melts and you're going to have them right away then go ahead and uh, butter eight slices of bread You'll need two slices per sandwich. So since I'm only making two, I'm going to have four slices ready. Well, I should have made my burgers a little thinner. Mine took about six minutes or so per side, not three to four. So hers were probably, hers were probably more for the size of the bread. Mine will be like big chunks of hamburger in there. So let us get started. 
I'm going to put two of the burgers aside. Okay, we're going to add, put the butter side down because that's what we're going to put in here. Put one slice of cheese. Then it says, top with a patty. Then caramelized onions. So just use a fourth or less because that's a lot of onions. Then top with one more cheese and put the top layer of bread with the butter on the outside. Both of them are supposed to be like that. Place the sandwich in hot griddle. What we're going to do is press this down. So we hear it sizzle. Want the cheese to melt, but we don't want our bread to burn. You know, that's fried up in hamburger grease. That is fantastic. <laughs> Any of you who have uh, cholesterol problems, Anything like that, this may not be the recipe for you. Scrum delicious. All right, let's try this bad boy. There again, make your burgers thinner so that they cover the whole piece of bread. Unhealthy, but very good. Patty melts. How long have patty melts been around? Does anyone know? I'll put it up on the screen. Everyone have a wonderful, wonderful day and enjoy your greasy dinner. See you real soon.